what we're doing here today is we're chipping branches uh, from the trees that we cut down here on our pasture. They were shading the pasture. Uh, we're chipping it up and gonna make compost topsoil with it and reapplying it to a garden or pastures. We'll see. We use wood chips for a whole bunch of things. Uh, the setup that you see here is our Coyote CK22 with our quad and our um, homemade um, tipping trailer. And then we have this wood chipper here. And this is a Polish made wood chipper. The brand um, I think is called Inventor. Uh, we bought it in Germany. If you are looking into buying a wood chipper, that there's a challenge there because either they're super expensive or they're completely useless. Um, that's what we found that um, the, the smaller affordable kind of wood chippers they really don't do you any good that just cost lots of time and um, on a commercial scale as you, you can't use them um, if you have these more expensive wood chippers um, you have to do quite an investment and the question is if that is worth it for you this chipper is a bit different um, like I said it's Polish made and I'm quite impressed with a lot of stuff that's made in Poland to be honest or in the Baltics in general they're good with forestry stuff and with uh, gardening stuff um, and this wood chipper uh, is very different compared to a bunch of like Chinese um, cheap ones um, I'm gonna share in a second what you need to pay attention to um, this only costs about two thousand dollars which is very affordable thinking that you have a fully hydraulic um, feed feed here um, or feeder I don't, I'm not sure what you call it and um, you can chip up to 16 centimeters um, about six inches so um, that's quite amazing this tractor with 22 horsepowers is the minimum and you, you saw or you will see on this video that with thicker branches it can handle it but you have to take more breaks if we put my brother's brother's tractor in front of this thing it'll be able to pull them through more smoothly but it works it works great so uh, up to 16 centimeters the big difference between this machine which makes it good quality and high quality is in fact um, the wheel to which the blades are connected um, often on these cheap um, machines that look good but are not good you have the weight of the wheel where the blades are connected first of all you may only have two blades and then that wheel uh, only weighs I don't know 20 30 kilos here we have four blades and this uh, wheel weighs a hundred kilos so once the tractor has this thing going there is a lot of power um, a lot of force that is working without the tractor pushing obviously it'll take a little time to get it up to speed again for the tractor but this is what enables this to really chip through or this little tractor to chip through thicker branches so that's what you want to pay attention to uh, this really high quality thick thing So this wheel inside here also works as a fan, so it's spinning very fast. It's going to be pulled in, being chipped up. You have to control uh, the feed here just so you see that um, the RPM is not going down and then the wood chips gather in here um, and it fills up 
and it will stop. But if it's up in RPM, um, the wood chips go right through here into our tipping trailer that we park here. We're able to move this thing and fill up the trailer everywhere. Then we just drive it to wherever we want it and we dump the load, three and a half cubic meters. If we are a couple people, um, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for us to fill up. Um, if you work the entire day, you can calculate one of these trailers per hour is a good uh, benchmark. And uh, so if you do eight hours, uh, you can calculate how many wood chips you produce on a day. Super happy with this machine. For the money, it is incredible. Uh, many other wood chippers in that category, they don't have a f um, hyd hydraulic feeder system. Um, they have it angled and the branches need to go in by themselves and that workflow just to lift every branch up and go in. We cut down whole little trees when we thin out forests and um, run them through here and it pulls a 15-20 meter tree in this diameter through no problem. Now these branches is about the worst thing that we have here in our climate to chip. It's aspen and these branches are just super hard and they go in all directions and so you have to like chop them off with an axe or really cut up the branches into small pieces with the chainsaw otherwise they won't go through here but that would be in pretty much any wood chipper that's not like with a big crane and that can break the branches so um, this stuff is not the nicest and smoothest but it still works and we're super happy about these wood chips With this, uh, you can heat your house, you could use it as deep bedding for the cattle or for the chickens, you can use it as material to cover the garden, or you can heat your house by um, making a bio mylar where you um, let these soak up as much water as they can take, and a cubic meter of these can produce um, heat and, and power um, one of these normal elements for two to three months and a let's say 30 40 cubic meter pile can heat your entire house for two years so it's quite impressive what you can do with this material um, we love to um, put a bag on the ground Um, it wasn't all the way packed full, so this is probably about three cubic meters of wood chips. Dumped it here, hope the chickens will spread it. Um, this has always been a dirty area with lots of weeds and stuff, so um, we have some blueberry bushes there, and we hope that um, the chickens will now really be able to just spread this out and mulch this whole area more here. The kind of wood chips that you want is really this kind where you have um, hundreds and hundreds of different sizes, um, branches and everything. If you think wood shavings, 
um, they're good for example for chicks and the brooder but um, for compost piles deep beddings um, for um, biomyla and all that you want these kind of things that are in all different sizes and this is like the biggest it gets and even though this is just in these little pieces um, but this is the perfect size uh, wood chips um, a lot of big commercial chippers they do like um, everything like this size about and that's really not what we want and um, this the chickens can kick around easily it's easy easy to handle so this is it for this video if you want to have more info on the wood chipper I'm gonna post a bonus video on our Vimeo um, vlog you can check that out the link is below um, we occasionally post bonus videos there where I'm going to talk about the wood chipper in detail show the inside and so on and hope you will head over there and check that out also check out our Facebook and our Instagram and stay in touch with us besides YouTube we really appreciate that I will see you in the next video bye bye guys